in this world, everything has a price. Vellum managed to escape the death grip of a zombie, stepping through the nether in a psionic blink, only to reappear in the air a dozen feet above the ground. Limping away on the brink of death, he cowered in a secluded basement, resting and tending his wounds. Now we find our future Archmage in a bleak basement, ready to face this devastated world again. So one of the first things I was looking at is I was taking a look at the map. We are obviously still exhausted, still fairly wounded, although we are starting to finally heal. Is um, There's two places nearby that might be incredibly valuable for us to visit. The gun store, strangely enough, and, well, there's another gun store here, and the magic shop. So, actually, we should put a note on this one as well. And we're putting little yellow S's on the places that we want to visit relatively soon. Because off camera, I was discussing with one of my friends why uh, Vellum here was having such a hard time sleeping. And what it actually comes down to is that, well, we, uh, as part of our elven build that we have, we also have elven hearing, which allows us to hear from much farther, farther away. And normally that's very useful, except when it comes to sleep. Because the problem is that we're hearing monsters from blocks away, buildings away, doing various zombie things. Normally, as a human, you'd probably only be able to hear the things that are happening in the upstairs right above you or in the house right above you. And it would help you wake up to uh, to alert you to danger. But I'm, I'm discovering danger that is so far out. I don't know if I can see any right now. Uh, looks like no. It's so far out that it's not actually a danger to me. It's just keeping me up. I believe this is a byproduct of the fact that, well, elves would probably want to live up here, up out in the wilderness, but... So how we're going to fix that is if we get to a gun store, we can get earplugs. It's going to be a little dangerous because we're going to have to sleep in safe areas where we can't rely on sound to wake us up, and we can't use alarms to wake us up. But until we can clear out the area a little bit better and get less zombies around us, um, which is a thing we can do because the zombies don't respawn. There is a limited number of them. It just so happens that because there's so many buildings and we have the world set to mega cities, there's just a lot more than usual. Um, but if we can get uh, earplugs from one of these gun stores, then we can probably actually sleep. So we are going to head up and... How are we doing? We... Actually, I'm going to jump back down super fast, actually, and eat real quick. Just because we're not going to get a chance to eat while journeying. The exhaustion is a problem, for sure. We don't want to fight. We want to run away from everything that we run into. But I do think we are going to make a beeline for this gun store over here. The reason I'm not going for that one is because it's going farther into the city, and the further into the city we go, the more problems we're going to have. We immediately see a feral human. Feral humans are a problem because they also have decent night sight, and they will throw rocks at me and use real weapons. So we are going to head out. What is my current move speed? Let me double check before I actually decide to run. Okay, we're good. So we can run a few steps just to get out of the sight range and then we have longer vision than almost everything else out here unless we run into another feral elf or for goblin who also have dark vision just think about your DD rules there but as long as we don't run into those guys we should be able to see most things coming and pick our path through this city carefully until we can get what a cure for what ails us Every once in a while, you're going to see in the log in the bottom right that we're hearing wumps and, and knocks, and that's because there's zombies doing stuff and moving around off in the distance, which isn't super important to us. In fact, I'm going to actually turn safe mode back on, which, um, again, to remind you, it prevents me from moving if I ever see something hostile, which I do see a zapper zombie ahead of me, but he's 30 meters ahead of me, and I can make some good decisions before then on what I'm going to be doing. Ideally, we we want to have, stay on the street where we're going to have plenty of room to maneuver around things. Oh, jeez. 
A dissolute, dissoluted devourer. Human bodies fused together into a colossus, with heads and limbs sticking out of its bloated body. The nature of the thing makes it difficult to estimate how close it is to dying, and its capabilities might change if it manages to assimilate more zombies into itself. That is a problem. That thing is faster than us, and it is basically never going to die. So we want to give that thing an incredibly wide berth. And in fact, I'm even going to put a note here. I'm put the note in red and put a D for a danger. It might stay near here. So it's just a reminder that if I come back through this area, I need to be very careful around here. One thing I did find out while playing this game on my own is that with all of these houses, I actually previously thought that water was my biggest problem because, well, all of these houses do mean that there's a huge amount of food. But I have actually found that um, from the south you hear, universal curfew is an effect. Please return to your home. This unit is authorized to open fire. Oh, there's a police blockade to the south. Okay, so we definitely... Can we actually see it from this distance? No. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So we definitely don't want to go this way. There's going to be a spotlight around here and then turrets, and they will shoot you down. They are automated turrets. Yeah, wang, wump, whack. It seems like they're already firing, which is not good for us because that means it's going to attract, we want to stay away from that dog because it can smell us. It's going to attract uh, zombies from all around down to it. That took some maneuvering, but we did get through this little group here. Again, we don't want to fight for any reason. So if something jumps on us like that dog just did, we're going to run, and then we'll rest a moment to catch our breath. Um, we could try and cl climb the fence, but we're too tired. There's no way we're going to get over it. Close now. We just have to cross one more street. And hopefully we can get into the gun store. That is the Nets issue. Kind of like I'm, I've, I've kind of decided I was going to burn the bridge when we come to it. Because I don't know what skills of Vellums are actually going to be good enough to get us into this gun store. South and southeast you hear wangs and whoops. Oh, I hear, back, I hear gunshots. Hold on. Can I see here where those are coming from? Lang. Footsteps. I wonder if there's survivors in here. That definitely sounds like gunshots. Ah, shit. Hero Dwarf. If we run, is he faster than us? Much slower than us. Running straight away from him right now, though, could be really dangerous. But I think we just have to. Because we might run into a zombie. I saw inside for a second there, but I... Okay, I see zombies inside. There's also a boomer right there. That thing is going to explode if hit by basically anything. We're actually going to... Hmm. Despite the fact that I do still want inside here, I'm starting to think that it's not going to be worth it. We might ditch this one. There's just too much going on there. And we're already in a very damaged state. Ideally, we get away from at least the nearby zombies. And this guy is just going to chase us down. So we're going to drop our gun. And we're going to hit him with magic missile. And just keep hitting him with magic missile. That hurt a little bit, but it's okay. 
Let's head south to the other one then, I guess. Actually, we're going to take a moment. Catch our breath. So we can run again if we need to. Going across the city at nighttime is not actually that bad. Although, that's a dinosaur. Um, it's not an aggressive dinosaur, though, so that's not the worst thing in the world. If it weren't for our inability to sleep, I would say, though, that I wouldn't be risking this. If you're playing a human and you start off in a city this big, or in a city in general, you generally want to get more skilled before you start going through the city like this. Like, the ability to at least be able to fight off several zombies and kill them quickly would be of incredible value, but I worry that no matter what we do, uh, the nearby area is just going to be too noisy right now for us to get sleep, and then we, like, could literally probably die from sleep deprivation. Okay. We've made it to another gun shop. This one seems much quieter. And the door's open. That's both good and bad for us. We're going to drop our gun here, because we're not going to be using it inside. And we'll go ahead and pull out our steak knife. Do we actually need any batches? I don't, I don't think we do. Do we have a backpack? We do have a hiking backpack. That's right. The main thing we're looking for here is earplugs and, well, anything else that is incredibly, immediately valuable. Locked door, of course. See if we can get up to the roof. There's a chance that there's like a water. Yes, there is. Okay, well, let's just ignore that. There's a chance that there's a water heater up here. Uh, and it's empty. That's unfortunate. The water heater's actually. Because they heat up the water to, to, like, above boiling temperatures, they actually have clean water in them. Good little tip right there. So we could equip our hammer here and bash down this door. This building is made out of fairly tough brick walls. And worst case scenario, we could just blink out again. Um, we're on the ground floor now, so it's not going to be as dangerous, so... We don't have enough leverage to pry open the door, and trying to blink into the room is just too dangerous. And I don't think we have any... We don't have any lockpicks, unfortunately. Something that we will want to make eventually, so that we can get into these places more quietly. But for now, I really hate to do it, but I think we're going to... Um... Can I disassemble the door? That actually is a funny option that I didn't think about. I could just disassemble it, which will take more time. But I think on a certain level, it's actually... No, it's because it's locked, I can't disassemble it. Good to know. We're so tired that it's taking us a long time to get this down. This is the right room, though. This is the firing range. Perfect. Okay, we're going to rest. And earplugs. We are saved. Can we go ahead and... Uh, no, we can't make anything with them. There's a, an alternate form of the earplugs where you can, um, like, tie them to a string and wear them so that we make sure that we don't lose them. But uh, we don't actually have that recipe right now. We'll go ahead and grab this, these snacks. And uh, let's see... There's any basic guns, guns that have like a very easy amount of ammo, we'll grab them, but it doesn't seem like there is any. Realistically speaking, with these in hand, I can probably go up to the roof here. Because this roof is going to be relatively safe, at least at this point in the game. Because we have a door here. Sleep. Finally, sleep. I'll be back once we are not at the edge of death and exhaustion anymore. Finally sweet bliss we have now slept for a day and a half straight we did eat some food in that time waking up from time to time but we can no longer sleep anymore simply because we are actually out of water we are actually now strong enough that uh 
we can put our machine gun into our backpack, which we were never strong enough to actually hold our backpack with a machine gun in it. We can actually store that now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pull out our knife just so that we have something. And uh, the problem is, is that it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. That is not a very good position for us to be in. Um, does seem like there's a few hordes nearby. We can see Town Hall nearby. Uh, we might want to look around the gun store just a little bit more here. See if there's anything that we missed that we could maybe, maybe drink. I mean, we could probably clean the water. Do we have the salination tablets by chance? I don't remember if I got any. Ah, uh, we don't. That's very unfortunate. Considering nothing came at us whenever we took down this back door. Um... We will probably go ahead and take out our hammer here and take down the front door. Oh, I need to make sure I definitely, definitely, definitely take off the uh, earplugs. I noticed as soon as I hit the door that I didn't hear anything. Take those off. This place should be fairly well defended with only a few wooden doors and mostly barred windows. So we should be able to look around, despite all that noise we just made. There's a bullet magazine. We're probably not going to be using a lot of guns in the long run. That guy over there is going to start breaking a whole bunch of... Uh... Ooh, what is that? K.A. Bar Knife. Um, I actually want to see the knife itself, please. Developed by the United States Marine Corps? Uh, modified hunting knives to be soldier proof. Huh. Hunting and utility knife. Um, we're going to go ahead and put that sheath on. It's because we have a much better knife now. Yeah, 21 piercing damage. That's actually a real weapon now. And we have a sheath that it goes into, which means that we can draw it a lot faster as well. Combat boots there. They don't fit us, though. We do have a sling, which would allow us to put our gun on our back. We also might be able to find a better gun for us here. Something like a pistol would actually work better for us. We're not really going to be using guns long term on this character. But having a gun for now would at least help us just get through the beginning parts of the game. And that's a Molly Assault Pack. That's pretty good. It has five encumbrance. Yeah, it's honestly quite quite a bit better than the hiking backpack. So we're going to go ahead and wield that instead. And then we will make sure to pick up everything up from inside the backpack. I do see some guns over here. You have a shotgun, a revolver, lever action, block carry. M9 combat pistol would probably be a really good for, one for us. Just because I think the M M9 has some... It has some really generic ammo. So we can grab this nylon holster. Put it on. And then we'll grab the... Oh, it's in a locked case. Shit. Uh, We will go ahead and mark this then. Because we will want to come back for that. Ideally, though, the big thing we want right now is some water. I was hoping that I would find some, like, desalination tablets here. Because a lot of these military places will have stuff like that in them. But as it stands, we'll probably just want to hit up some of these houses nearby. Um, doing that at night here would be a app or during the day here would be an absolutely terrible idea so i do think that we are going to still wait for nightfall i saw 10 gallon for a second there and i actually got very excited but it is a 10 gallon hat can we pry these open we can after a few attempts oh hey there you go m9 combat pistol we're going to go ahead and wield it um, and put it into our holster. 
We don't have any ammo for it, but, um... There we go, actually. So we'll go ahead and, um... Wait, is that not the same type of... I don't know guns very well, guys. It's for the Beretta Storm 9x19. Wow. Is that the right kind? Beretta Storm. Oh, guns. This thing says that it takes, uh, let's see, 9x19 um, jacketed hollow points. Well, that's just one of the things it can take, at least. So it takes 9x19s. Um... Yeah, it looks like all of the rounds are going to just be called M19 rounds. I wonder if there was some back here in this case that I missed. Let's see. M19 7 round magazine. Oh, that's the M1911. There's so many different kinds of guns. Like, I don't play gun games, so I don't, I don't, I don't get why there's so many different kinds of guns. Maybe someone can explain that to me. Oh, hey. So that's one thing that's actually really nice. If you have the weapon on you, it will actually highlight the ammo. But I think those are empty magazines, unfortunately. Yeah, those were empty magazines. They don't have any bullets in them. But at least have the magazines now. So if I find bullets, I could load the magazines and then load the gun. What's in my holster? For some reason, my my knife is in my holster now. Give me a second. I'm going to uh, sort my inventory real quick. Okay. I know what I did wrong. Whenever I picked up the pistol, I accidentally uh, wielded the pistol and then put the knife into the into the uh, holster and not the other way around. So now the knife is properly in the sheath. So we're good now. I also did finally just go ahead and take off my circlet. Um because uh, it was honestly hurting us. And I just noticed we have a bunch of trash in our inventory. I'll go ahead and drop that real quick. And uh, as thirsty as we are, we might just have to waste some time here waiting for... Um, waiting for night to fall, because if we failed to do that, we could really, really be in trouble. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and... No, we'll... Oh, this uses the same kind of ammo. We're going to unload the submachine gun and put in the pistol because the pistol is better for us. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to wait for night, night to fall and we'll be back. Okay. So it's nighttime again. And I think our next destination is going to probably be the magic shop to the south here. Because if we can, oops, we can clear out the area around there. That'd be really good. So... Ideally, we're going to hit the houses around us here first. So we'll go ahead and pull out our... That's a little knife. And uh, for anyone who might have been shouting at me that uh, those were, in fact, not the same correct uh, types of ammo, I found that out on my own um, while I was uh, messing with stuff. Ooh, a smudge scroll. These are interesting. This looks like someone was designing a new spell, but spilled a mug of coffee on it and crumpled it up in anger. You can tell that it will definitely cast something, but you can't sure that it will uh, that it will work very well. This spell contains cause bear, not cause fear, but cause bear, which is very funny to me. We're going to go ahead and grab that. There's a bunch of zombies out here. Not really surprised. We kind of left them here, but we're going to try and get to one of these houses around here. Ideally, that one right there, because there's a saw in there. Fortunately, we just had to uh, bring down a child zombie, which um, will make our character incredibly guilty about uh, about it for a little while. And that morale hit will really mess up our ability to do stuff for a little bit. Oh, man. We managed to get in here, but uh, the door's locked. There are just far too many zombies around to be risking it in a building like this. Ah, here we go. Food. Drink. Yes. Um, actually not much in the way of drink, but we definitely have food. 
Worst case scenario, we could uh, retreat into one of the basements and make like a temporary fire and get get some drink on. Go ahead and grab this lighter real quick. Eventually, we should probably have some sort of magic. We'll probably have some sort of magic in order to uh, do all the lighting of fires ourselves. But for now, we're still reliant on more traditional methods or in a weird way, less traditional methods. If you find sealed food anywhere, I would say it's a pretty high priority to pick up just because you won't have to worry about it going bad. Ooh, survive under an atomic attack. I've never read that book before. I wonder if it's any good. Just kind of uh, taking a look around here, making sure that we don't miss anything incredibly valuable. It seems like this is some sort of like split duplex kind of house. Ooh, some time balls. Thank goodness. Um, oh, and a full first aid kit. Yeah, bandages. There we go. And a bottle of antiseptic. You always want to keep a full bottle of antiseptic on you, possibly even two. They're not that heavy um, because if you ever get an infected wound, that is a damn good way of dying very quickly. Um, we're also going to take these multivitamins because it'll help the fact that we have basically no diet right now. And we'll take the painkillers because pain can uh, can ruin you very quickly as well. There is a wood saw here. It's not too heavy for us to pick up. We do have this molly pack now, which um, ha it's a positive and a negative. So if you just see over here in torso, we currently have a huge red number there. That means that we're incredibly overweight on that one spot. And it's because, well... There's a good thing and a bad thing about the Molly Assault Pack. So the Molly Assault Pack is a very good backpack, but the problem is that you can just keep loading it up and you can cause yourself a lot of problems by basically overloading yourself. Um, so we do have to watch out. Mineral water and some fruit and veggies. The green stuff is the stuff that we can eat because we do have a fancy elven diet. We're going to immediately drink that mineral water though. Oh, there was 12 of them? Amazing. Now, these houses have been amazing for food. And we're actually completely full up just on food alone. We're so overweight, though, that if we do get into a fight and we can't just walk away or run away from it, we're going to want to drop our backpack in order to fight because uh, our backpack is, is very overweight at this point, and it's going to be causing... Like, for example, you can see our balance score means that we're going to have a 43% chance of being off balance. We're, we're, our attack speed is 68% slower. We have a 50% chance of breaking uh, uh, grabs now, which zombies love to grab you in this game. Um, and we have lowered attack rolls, lower dodge chance. Encumbrance can be really bad, but if we just drop our assault pad, let's see what it looks like now. It's still bad, but it's not as bad as it was before. So what we can do is we can go over to uh, our torso here and we can see why. Multiple items of outer clothing. So we have multiple outer items. Yeah. Illicit best, the machine gun, the cloak. The machine gun does have a few rounds in it, so I don't want to drop it yet. I don't want to fight that zombie either. I think we're just going to move north to another house. I'd ideally like to find one with a basement. Just for now. Oh, here we go. This one has a basement. Has these terrible wide open windows, but um, this does have a basement. So there's a chance... Oh, that's a really bad basement. Holy shit. That's one, two, three, four, five, six zombies down here. Yeah. Oh. And they immediately grabbed me. Forced me to fight. Okay, we're going to run upstairs then. That was creepy as fuck. It's a giant talking doll over there. Ugh. Okay. See if we can find a safe place to uh, 
deal with our injuries. We're going to take... Uh, everything's too heavy to pick up right now because we just got messed up. Okay. Trenched out there, but it doesn't fit. Can we pick up the deck of cards? No, it's, it's too heavy right now just because of uh, our situation. And I actually think our backpack is close to full. Yeah, if you see up here... Our weight, it actually, we're actually overweight now because um, our injuries have lowered our strength. So, ah, from one frying pan into another is basically what's happening here. We're going to go ahead and drink up a little bit. Stop being so thirsty. Eat some. And, uh... Go ahead and uh, bandage up our new injuries. That one was really close. Below. Below, below. You hear bonk? That's a weird noise to be hearing. I don't know what's causing the bonk noise. I wonder if there's like a clown zombie down there or something. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing. We're going to go ahead and uh, heal up our stuff for now. Generally speaking, you just want to put as much stuff on. Like, You want to just do as much medical as you can on everything. Because that's how you heal faster. Go ahead and take... Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do antiseptic. I wanted to do... Aspirin. Technically, we could take some coating if we needed to keep fighting, but we're not in that much pain, to be honest. That actually wasn't that bad. This uh, Kabar knife is actually uh, way better of a weapon that we've had so far. I would say it's actually a capable weapon. What we're going to do is we're going to crouch here so that some stuff doesn't see us through that window. And we're just going to wait like 30 minutes for stuff to calm down for a second. Because the zombies will kind of figure themselves out and calm down. We have plenty of time in this night. We have supplies now. So we're not rushed. So patience. Patience is a virtue. We really would like to get to that magic shop, but it might just be too risky. We might, in fact, actually double back and see if we can get home, to be honest. The devourer is in the way. And we're deep, deep within the city. So I would have liked to pref prefer to have found a home farther south here. And then just set back up. Because there's nothing really there that's super valuable for us. Um, ooh, what's that? Oh, there's a thug over there. We must have spotted them from a distance. That's not the worst thing in the world. Because he's not that far away from us. Um, and he, that guy will kind of keep the area around there um, generally empty. That must have been who we were hearing firing whenever we were up by this gun store. Sounds like it's calmed down out here, though. We're going to carefully, intentively move out here. Still a little overweight. Can't really loot anything. In fact, is there anything on us? We're going to do a quick um, inventory here. Be right back. Okay. We have things handled better now so that we actually have uh, stuff under control here. And uh, I will admit, I don't feel like we've fully stabilized. But we do have food and some water. We have water for probably a day or two. So I think with that... I do want to make a break for the magic shop. There's just so much potential we could get there, and there's a very good chance we can even live there as well. It's also just so close by. So, before this night ends, we are going to try and make a break for there and see how that goes. Hopefully, we can make it to the shop. Oh, something's killing all the zombies around here. Hearing buzzing sounds. Might be a wasp nest nearby. Whenever I say wasps, don't think like the kind that are pre cataclysm wasps. No. We know better. We've seen what magic does to wasps. 
there a light here or something? Or have we just already been through here? We have not been through here. Why, 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 why are we aware of this area? This is very strange. But we've seen what magic does to wasps. These wasps are enormous. They're large. They're about as large as a dog, upwards of being twice as large as a human. We very much want. If there's wasps around here, we very much want to let them just do what they want and uh, never let them lay eyes on us. There's a tiny meat cocoon there. Let's go ahead and just destroy that because that can't be good. Don't really know what those do. Zombie managed to get up on us, but we do have this very nice knife now. There's a zombie. Hop right there. The knife is not going to do much to the zombie top, so we're not going to fuck with him. All of the zombies are all moving in one direction, which means they're, they probably hear something. I can actually see these books through the window. Hmm. Nothing interesting. We're going to break our own rule and go through an alley. Nope. See, this is why you don't go through alleyways. <laughs> I was just about to say we're going to break our own rule and go through an alleyway, but uh, we immediately ran into some uh, problem there. Bunch of zombies having a mosh pit over here. We're going to back this guy off. See if we can finish him off by himself. Very nice. around the corner here and I really hope that this magic shop is in one piece so far it looks like it is entrance should be over here close the windows immediately oh yes absolutely perfect another window over here Oh, uh, a haven for the nerds. It's the end of the world, but you'll feel you'll be you'll feel fine. That's an amazing book. This is a druid book. It's going to teach us a lot of the spells that we care about, including Nature's Bow, which is one of my go-to favorite spells. One of the spells I'm most looking forward to as this thing. Basically summons a bow for you with magical arrows to boot. Um which means that uh, we never have to worry about crafting a bow. Beyond sleeping easy with sorcery. Well, that might help with us. Sound bomb. Uh, phase door. I think we already know phase door, right? We don't know phase door. Okay. Sound bomb. All good spells. There's nothing in there. Go ahead and close this window as well. Make sure that nothing can, can find us. And then we, we will head up to the... We'll check up front here real quick. Close the windows. And then we're going to be heading up to the second floor. And primarily hanging out there. There are some wands. I'm wands of magic missiles in here, which would be very, very useful because it gives us a lot of uses of magic missile without having using any mana. The problem is that they are behind locked doors. Home Mage's Healthcare Manual. Don't know what that is. Effects of technological progress in magic and basis spellcraft theory. Not familiar with any of those. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Is that a thug? Healer. Lucio Abrams. Please tell me you're that you're friendly. I must purge this land of its curse. Will you help or hinder our mission? Hi there. Blessed be, may you purge that which opposes us. Um, why don't you go somewhere else? I must purge this place before I move on. I'm gonna get out of here. And I could potentially uh, persuade them. They're going to have a mission for me, and if I do actually do their mission, um, do they sell anything interesting? No, they don't. Um, yeah, see, I will have a mission for they will have a mission for me, but we're going to hold off on doing it right now because I've met one of these people before. These healers, they are fanatics. They hate the undead with a burning passion, which does mean that if I accept the mission, they're going to start following me around, which sounds good, but I don't know if you noticed, but they're wielding a Winchester. And as a fanatic, I imagine the first thing they're going to do as soon as they walk out that front door is shoot someone. And that's the last thing we want whenever we are in the dead center of a city is some fanatic shooting off their gun. So Velen would look at this and be like, mm, we do agree with your mission. 
don't get us wrong. We do. But it needs to wait for the right time. I need to be ready to actually be able to fail your mission without getting us both killed. Which means I need to be more stable. And I need to be in a better position to not just get murdered myself. This is not going to be a, the best location in the world to be for the next couple days. But if we can use this as a home base and just clear out the surrounding area and kill all of the zombies around here, we can slowly make this area safe. We have a fireplace so that we have a nice set of fire. We have a bookcase. We have basically everything we need here. Ideally, we can find a local source of water, something more permanent, like a spout or a liver, river or a lake, something like that. But for the time being, we do actually have a place that we can call home. The uh, police shelter was not working out very well and uh, probably wasn't going to work out very well into the future. But uh, this place, we could probably fortify it up and make it actually into a real home, at least temporarily. We'll see about long term. Ideally, as an Archmage, we'll eventually want some sort of wizard tower. Something like... I believe there was one up here. Yeah, there was one up by where we were before. So we will want to swing back for these wizard towers. Get more magic. But in the time... Uh, in the meantime, we are going to do what our nerdy guy does best. Our character squirreled away in the upper floors of a magic bookshop. This time without having to buy a single book within. Vellum is momentarily happy. And he can s momentarily forget that the world outside has ended. Get lost in a book and learn some magic. With that, we're going to be leaving you for here today. I thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, hopefully... Uh, we can get quite a few episodes of this up and uh, some more interesting things will be happening in future episodes as we are going to have to fight some seriously, seriously dangerous odds in order to make any progress in this city. Every single turn is just going to be zombies after zombies. Far more than any other normal survival world would have it in Cataclysm. But I have been Arima. This has been the Journeys of Vellum. If you guys are enjoying, please, please feel free to like, subscribe, because those are what will keep this uh, series going and keep me doing this. I greatly appreciate your time, and I hope you have a good night.